Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Clearwater, Florida? Well, today, Jason and I are gonna take you around the city. We're gonna go through some different neighborhoods and show you homes in different price points so you can see what fits your budget. And if you stick around toward the end, we're gonna share something that we think is a hidden treasure. And we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living here in the Tampa Bay area and surrounding areas like Clearwater, Florida, then hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications, and you'll be notified about all of the current conditions here in Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Amy and this is Jason, and we get calls from people just like you looking to make the move to the Tampa Bay area every single day, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or set up a Zoom meeting, and we'll be happy to help you with your smooth transition here to sunny Tampa Bay. So as I was saying, we are here in Clearwater, Florida, which is known for its pristine beaches. So we thought it would be great to start out here at Clearwater Beach, the famous Clearwater Beach. We're sitting on Pier 60 and our family visited a few years ago and we fell in love with the area and that's why we made the move here. And we want to share this with other families that are looking to make the move as well. Here we are on Pier 60, the famous Clearwater Beach. And of course, as you can see, the main attraction or what drives millions of people to this destination every single year is obviously this turquoise water, which we absolutely love. And these white sanded beaches, I mean, they're just amazing. And it's like just powder in between your toes. Right now, today is a Saturday. We're on Saturday afternoon and there's a, quite a few people here, um, but it didn't seem so bad on the traffic. And at night, the pier becomes a festival. You'll find street performers, music, entertainment, and also local artisans selling their goods. Definitely a fun place to bring the family and check out. Let's head over to the Country Grove neighborhood. Okay, so we just drove through this neighborhood and it is a uh, HOA community. They do have a community pool. This house is a three bedroom, two bath, around 1,600 square feet and listed for 430,000. They actually have an open house today. So we're gonna go in and take a quick peek. So we might get some footage for you to see too. So let's, let's go. go. So we just took a walk through this open house here. This is the three bedroom, two bath here in Clearwater, Florida. And this one is in an HOA community, like I said before. Um, it's 1,600 square feet, listed at 430,000, just under actually. Um, really good property, has a lot of space inside, nice um, cabinetry, like it has a lot of pantry space. I love that the laundry room was big, it has a two car garage. Another good thing about it is in the HOA fees, it includes the front lawn care the painting and exterior of the home, the roof, also includes cable and internet. So I think this is a really good deal. You're about 10 miles from Clearwater Beach and otherwise you're centrally located and can get to everything, have access to everything here in Clearwater, Florida. Now let's head over to Eagle Estates. Here we are in Eagle Estates. Um, this is a golf course community, very well established. And I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck here. This home is listed at 845,000. It has four bedrooms, four baths. It is almost 3,400 square feet. It has a resort style pool in the back and it does need a little bit of updating, but definitely move in ready. Um, so I really think this is a beautiful home in a great area, close to everything. So. Let's check out the neighborhood. Hey 
let's head over to Del Oro Groves. So here we are in Del Oro Groves. This is a really nice neighborhood, real close to the Tampa Bay and to Safety Harbor. Safety Harbor is a really charming little town to visit. They have lots of great eateries and things like that, but we will tell you about those in a future video. This home is a four bedroom, two bath, listed for 650,000, right around 2,000 square feet. Like I said, this one is in an amazing neighborhood close to the Tampa Bay. You have a walking path here and close to Safety Harbor. So if you really want to live that beach life, this little house is under a million. It's actually in the 800s. And you can live right here on Clearwater Beach. This is North Beach, a residential area. Very, very cute neighborhood. Um, and like I said, you can be here for under a million. So we stopped here at the Coachman Waterfront Park. It's in Clearwater. It's actually downtown Clearwater, just across from the beach. And this is a 19 acre waterfront park with a lot of green space. There is a trail and a splash pad, a playground. And like I said, they have this amphitheater and so they're offering concerts and live performances here. So super cool. Yeah, check it out. That's awesome. And this is brand new. It just opened this year. So we're going to take you on a tour. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we are at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. This is a nonprofit organization here in Florida. And in fact, they are dedicated to the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of sick and injured uh, marine animals. So they play a really important role here in Florida. And they also uh, contribute to public education, conservation, and research. And they've been open since about 1972. going to be picnic areas or shelters and you're also going to have um, access to the pass so that if you want to do fishing or anything like that you can. Would you say it's pretty family friendly? Yeah absolutely a great place to bring your family for the day and hang out at beach and 
it's off the beaten path, so you're not going to have to fight the traffic um, into Clearwater Beach. Ooh, but point. you still get access to Clearwater Beach. Yeah, so. good point. That is awesome. Sort of like a, um, a spot. Yeah, local a spot. spot. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so here at Sand Key Island and Beach, um, you know, this place is pretty awesome. They've got everything from a private beach, fishing areas in the inlet. Um, they've got picnic tables, bathrooms, and it's almost like you're on another private beach over here. It's pretty awesome. But I just wanted to show you, we stopped here real quick to show you the dog park. They've got a dog park for, it looks like for large and small dogs. Here in the Tampa Bay, there's so many cities that are really uh, pet friendly, of course, family friendly, but this one in particular is pet friendly and it's just awesome to see. And I thought I'd show you real quick uh, these two parks here. Got your poop scoop. It does uh, have a toll to park here. So you got a small dog area. You got a large dog area. Now it's counting the rules. Hot asphalt warning, which is pretty cool. And then here's a little bit of the area. Doesn't look very busy right now. Got benches. It looks huge. I mean, this is probably one of the biggest dog parks I've ever been to. Um, we used to uh, live in Arizona and when we lived there it was real pet friendly as well and they had all kind of uh, uh, dog parks and I don't remember any of them being quite this big so, so as we said uh, now one of the other bonuses about this beach on this side is the big beach and swim area but on the other side of Gulf Boulevard uh, where we just came from which you should see as well they have a beach that you can actually drive upon and we're going to show footage in that in the video as well and you can see all the jeeps and trucks and stuff and they're backed into the beach and you can go swimming and have all your gear and stuff out and it's pretty phenomenal so uh, hopefully you get to see that as well We truly hope this was helpful in your search and transition here to Clearwater, Florida. As always, feel free to reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we will help you with your smooth transition here to sunny Tampa Bay.